Hello, everybody. Welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? Yay! We're going to use our a beautiful, wonderful, colorful deck. I love this so much. Um, I believe her name is Sylvia DeMarco that makes this deck. Um, I will put a correction down in description if it isn't, but I'm so excited because I just found out in a month or two she's releasing another deck and it is, I think it's called The Dark Goddess. And oh my God, the artwork is like this. It's so splendid and beautiful. I'm so, so excited. So you guys, I love this. Self-love, let's talk about this. There are some magnificent things coming towards you, but we can't be afraid to do things differently. New things are being done in a new way. So create space for grace, you know. Stop casting doubts on things that you do. Doubts only bring you down instead of promoting your growth. So when you look in the mirror, sometimes I'm looking in there and I'm like, nice disaster area. What are we working with? What's happening? We never know, right? Each day. Um, all I do is say, you know what? Everything can be altered and fixed and mended. We jump in a shower. We put on a little chapstick. We put on some colors that are restful. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm so into beautiful neutrals, creams, quiet yellows, grays, dusty blues, just things that are really comforting on the eye that are restful. I feel like right now you're going to get rid of all the people, places, and things that don't create the best you, and you're going to focus on making your life better in every regard, what you put in your body, what comes into your mindset, and what you focus on, because really deep down, you know, you know you deserve things that are beautiful and wonderful, and that it's time to step into your sovereignty, and to me, that definitely means good boundaries, and saying, you know, no thank you to things that don't help us and don't help us in growth and expansion and keep us small and we feel that energy deep down we know that and um it's interesting i was watching some different things on temptation island because i wanted to see how how much people would really put up in with relationships and stuff uh, whether it's people cheating on them people treating them poorly people gaslighting them and i was blown away and then i had this aha moment and i was like you know what people get conditioned and they get used to certain behavior and then it it feels like the everyday, you know, and because of that, it's like we get thicker skin, but we shouldn't have to grow thicker skin and take different forms of gaslighting, abuse, whatever it is. Absolutely not. That can be at work. I remember one time I had this coworker and he thought he was still like some kind of um, high school football player, frat boy, like always had something like caustic and obnoxious and dismissive to say, like very negative reinforcement. And I thought, oh my God, like what a way to live your life. But it was weird, like you acclimate to that and all of a sudden it doesn't seem as abrasive, but nobody should have to. So this is where we step into our sovereignty and you're like, you know what? I deserve a life filled with positivity, love and prosperity, abundance, joy, and people treat me well. And we all know this. We've seen it in other people's parents, brothers, sisters, where they just don't put up with that BS. They're just like, oh, I'm sorry, are you speaking to me? You know, when people go below the belt or they get a little bit, um, you know, caustic it's like there's no reason for it and i love that and i feel like you guys are ready to step into this sovereignty a lot of your projects and things that are going to bring you prosperity and abundance are going to come to fruition good things coming in for you listen you weren't meant to play small in your life you weren't meant to be a wallflower you weren't meant to just get by or avoid things you know head on sovereignty says you know what that's not really the way i expect to be treated and i would like a b and c this is about great communication self-love is about asking for what you want as well because sometimes we just assume that somebody knows you know our wishes and then when they don't come our way sometimes we just accept a little bit less this is not accepting less this is saying you know i really am deserving of nice rich communication of respect uh people honoring my boundaries uh, and this can be about things too like if you lend um brothers sisters friends whatever your car your clothes that these things come back clean you know it's one of those things where we let other people know what we expect in terms of what we would do for them. We wouldn't borrow somebody's, say, evening jacket, spill a bunch of uh, coffee on it and just hand it back to them with coffee all over it, right? It's all these little things. 
I feel like there's something, a vision, an idea that's coming in for you. And you're just going to stop worrying. You're just going to go in that straight line right towards it, knowing it's meant to be yours. And this beautiful state of fruition is going to take place for you. And you're going to be like, I knew it. I feel like there's an anticipation and magic that opens up to us when we embrace the unknown as well. You know, spirit wants us to be courageous. And with it comes new possibilities, great adventures. We just bury that fear. Forget it. You know what I mean? No longer of this this kind of nervous nagging self-doubt oh i'm not qualified i don't know if i know all that do i look good enough it's like i'm going for it regardless and you've seen it in your life right you've seen this person that could be just let's take some of those i like like male extroverts that are a little bit shorter not like napoleonic complex where they go out and just go bananas but like they really stand up for what they say. I like people that have conviction behind their speech and you get this like little guy. I love Italian people. I think they're so great because they're so passionate about everything and they just, you get on board with it. Oh man, Mediterraneans, they are just everything. Greeks and Italians, they're the best. You know, and they're like, oh, hey, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be emphatic. I'm going to be direct. Like, I love it. All of that stuff. And they don't have to be the best looking, but it is that kind of confidence, you know, that, and there is a fine line definitely between confidence and being a little bit um, over the top. So we need to watch that. But it is that thing where we take a step forward into life and we're like, we want a bigger arena to operate in. Yeah. Comfort zones are so easy to just glide into and go, woo, I'm on this carousel. I can watch you shows and eat this food and go for this walk. But where's the excitement? Where is that beautiful challenge out there where, you know, you, you know that if a problem comes up, you can find a solution. You've got it. You're going to speak this into existence. You know, this new wisdom is going to come on and it's going to place you in the let's go lane. And I, I'm going to try things. Whoops. I'm so excited. I'm going to knock the phone over. I'm so stoked about my, um, Oh, my new shell that I got. It is the most beautiful. It's the other side. Even look at that. Oh, could you even, I'm just dying. I don't even, I initially got it to put my sage in, but I love it so much. I don't want to blemish it. I'm like, ah, okay. Also funny, funny, crazy story. So you know how in certain, <laughs> certain shows they're like, what's in your bag. And I love when your friend thinks you're a medieval wizard because they're like, they can't open an envelope. So you have to dump out your bag so you can get a hold of your, dun, 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 <laughs> your little mini dagger. So that they don't think that's the weirdest of the things. You got your little magic potion jar. You know, you got your Nordic rings, you got your crystals. I had like every coin under the earth. I have my Anubis coin. I carry everything for luck and I love to look in my bag and just get excited about what's in existence. Usually a tarot deck or two. If I'm lucky, a chapstick, but just everything under God's green earth. And they're just like, oh, wow, what else you got in there? You know, I'm always carrying spare joy. Do you ever like, it doesn't matter, man, woman or whatever, you are in the mood to wear jewelry but you don't have the time to put it on right then and or you're wearing it and you're like oh that's distracting or heavy so you just whack jewelry in there i always have a spare pair of earrings or a ring because every once in a while it just strikes you like oh i want to um whip this on for whatever protection but anyway you guys this is amazing i feel like you have this fabulous confidence that's going to beam through have you give you that strength in your sovereignty you're going to exist on your own terms self-love is so important you're going to discover how dope you are i know you guys are dope i want you to know you're dope it has nothing to do with how we look our age all of that's how we carry ourselves are we enthusiastic like there's nothing like seeing somebody they're out and they find the perfect work of art for their wall or they find the perfect thing in there. They're so stoked about it. You know, they live in their own orbit of kind of excellence and fun and creativity. And that's going to be you. And I'm excited for you. And again, these dreams coming in, no one's deciding for you. You are deciding. I exist on my own terms, a better job, opportunity, new romance, all of these you are going to places you never thought possible because you're just given the free will back to yourself to go out and explore. Today is a new day. Something not working, I'm dropping it. Again, I'm getting off that carousel net, that little comfort zone because I want to explore. I want to grow. You know, I want to discover and expand and that's going to be your mantra. So you guys, that is what you were meant to hear today. Thanks you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you so much and all your beautiful messages, which I'm going to go return today and look at again. I appreciate you guys more than I can say. 
in what you are meant to hear today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Melanie. Don't forget to press like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you need any private reads, I want to thank everybody yesterday. I had a whole, like, woo, I had a little avalanche of private reads that I did and the energy was so spectacular. So thanks, you guys. And again, over in the description is my information of where to contact me for private reads. So you guys have the best, best day.